Six Sigma is perhaps the most commonly used and abused quality management word in the last 25 years. My name is Anshuman Tiwari and this is World Quality Month and I will be bringing to you lessons and insights from the world of quality throughout the month. Back to Six Sigma. What is Six Sigma? This video is for beginners and I will try and keep the subject high level so that all of us can understand the concept. You can think of Six Sigma in three different ways. Firstly, statistical. Second, as a quality improvement method. And thirdly, as controlling process variation. So stay with me. Statistically, if a process delivers 3.4 defects per million opportunities, it is said to be at Six Sigma level. Don't worry about the 3.4 defects per million opportunities and whether it is accurate or not. Think near zero defects. Can you do a process almost a million times come up with no defects, that would be a Six Sigma level. If you have an insurance claim process and it has 10 fields to fill and you have 100,000 of these forms, this makes a million opportunities to go wrong. So I could spell the name wrong, I could write a number differently and so on. You have 1 million opportunities. If you make no errors in these forms, then you are close to Six Sigma. The second was as a quality improvement method. So the method for Six Sigma is DMAIC. Define, measure and improve and control. Core concept in this is define your problem properly and then go about solving it in stages. Don't jump to conclusion. Can we solve any problem with Six Sigma? No. In my experience, there are three conditions that have to be met. First, Process should be repeatable. Second, there should be high volume. And third, problem is known but solution is unknown. If you already know the solution, then why are you doing a process improvement project? The third way to understand Six Sigma is controlling process deviation. If your process is performing really well and is centered, which means your performance is delivering what the customer and you want, even if on a particular day there is some variation, your process will be well within the specification limits. Now imagine this with a tunnel and a car. So you there is a long tunnel and you are driving a car through it. If you are a good driver and your car is well maintained, you are likely to hit the center throughout the journey. However, on a particular day, there are other circumstances and your car wavers a little bit. And you are such a good driver, your car is so well maintained that you still avoid to hit the walls. That is a very good process. The same happens to your process in Six Sigma. So this was a brief video on what is Six Sigma. Of course, this subject is vast and there are many more concepts to be taught. But I wanted to bring you a simple version. Of Once again, this is World Quality Month and I will be bringing many such insights to you. So if you already don't follow me on LinkedIn, please do so. Thank you very much and stay tuned.